Dear friends, dear members, uh, I would like today to talk with uh, Pavel Gerasimov, the CEO of the Russian law firm Padva and Epstein. Uh, I would like to ask Pavel what kind of news a uh, new law come under legislation in Russia now, especially on the period of the coronavirus. Hello, Alec. Uh, here's some news from the confinement uh, about uh, the changes into Russian legislation uh, caused by uh, coronavirus, uh, the COVID-19. Of course, there are many changes uh, into the different part of social and business life, and. Uh, in business life, it, uh, there are changes of, in terms and conditions for bank credits, uh, tax reporting, um, licensing, uh, in terms of uh, building permits, and so on. But uh, let's briefly uh, stop uh, on the topics of, uh, of the lease and uh, the insolvency procedures. And if uh, someone will need uh, uh, more detailed information, uh, he or she may contact me directly and uh, Padva and Epstein Dorfram uh, will be proud to uh, give uh, detailed explanations. So uh, on the 1st of April uh, in uh, 2020, uh, law number 98 uh, entered into force. Uh, all the changes uh, uh, about the lease are there uh, changes regarding uh, the lease agreement uh, that uh, were concluded before uh, the regime of uh, uh, high alert and emergency. Uh, the federal law uh, sets uh, three provisions. So the first one is uh, that in that regime of high alert and emergency, LSC uh, may ask a property owner for a, uh, a deferred payment of lease payment and the landlord uh, must provide it uh, to him uh, by uh, concluding the agreement in 30 days. Uh, government of Russia uh, sets the requirements of the uh, terms and conditions of such a uh, delayed payment. Uh, the rate, the second one, uh, is that uh, the rate of uh, the lease payment uh, may be reduced uh, uh, in uh, 2020 in any period of it. Uh, and third one, uh, that the lessee uh, may demand a reduction of uh, lease payment in the period of uh, 2020 uh, when he couldn't uh, use his uh, leased property because of uh, restrictions or maybe because of non-working days. Uh, the analysis of uh, legislative rules uh, calls the conclusions that uh, they are uh, they are for all lessee and uh, for all property owners. Okay, so uh, we spoke about the federal law, and now let's discuss uh, the governmental act, uh, the requirements of terms and con conditions of lease. Uh, the government of Russian Federation firstly recommends uh, to those property owners who postponed uh, payment of lease fee uh, to reduce it uh, and uh, to reduce it for the period uh, when uh, lessee can't use uh, the leased uh, property uh, because of restrictions uh, or regarding coronavirus or because of non-working days in Russia. Uh, secondly, the government uh, recommends uh, to all uh, uh, the authorities of the regions of Russian Federation to downsize the property taxes, uh, uh, land taxes, uh, land lease uh, uh, for those uh, property owners who uh, have postponed uh, their uh, lease fee. Uh, but uh, we should take into account that uh, this governmental act is not for every uh, uh, lessee or every uh, property owner, but uh, for uh, the lessees from uh, uh, branch of economy of Russian Federation, which uh, suffered because of restrictions and coronavirus. 
uh, among them are uh, air transportation, uh, road transportation, uh, cultural entertainment, uh, well, uh, catering, uh, dry cleaning, uh, hairdressing, uh, uh, sports, uh, touristic agencies, uh, hotel business, uh, and so on. Uh, the rules of uh, delay payment uh, spread to state, uh, region, and to private property, except dwelling, uh, and it will last uh, till the 1st of October 2020. So the delay payment is set uh, for the period of high alert or emergency in full sum of uh, a monthly, monthly fee and uh, the half of it, so the 50% of monthly sum uh, for the period uh, uh, from the date when uh, the high alert regime uh, was will be cancelled till the 1st of October of 2020. Uh, there is debt uh, should, be pay, uh, pay should be paid not earlier than on the 1st uh, January of uh, 2021 and not later than uh, 1st uh, of January 2023. Uh, it should be paid in equal parts uh, monthly and uh, not, but not bigger uh, than 50% of uh, monthly fee a month. Uh, so, as we see, Russian government uh, takes measures to, to support tenants, but uh, we should take into account, uh, as we uh, discussed it previously, that uh, federal law, uh, if we will interpret federal law about uh, this uh, deferral period, so uh, we may uh, uh, make uh, a conclusion that uh, it, it, it is federal law is for every uh, tenant and for every uh, property owner, but governmental act is only for those uh, tenants from uh, uh, suffered branch of economies, and uh, that uh, may cause disputes. I th dispute, I think, disputes. I think uh, between uh, tenants and uh, property owners, which are not in the list. Thank you, Pavel. And the second question is about the new law on bankruptcy. So the next topic is insolvency. On the 18th of March 2020, the government of Russian Federation recommended federal tax service, uh, state corporations, uh, federal executive bodies, uh, central bank, uh, the heads of regions of Russia, not to apply for insolvency uh, of the debtors for the, for the period from 18th of March till the 1st of May 2020. As we previously mentioned, on the 1st of April, uh, the federal law number 98 uh, entered into force and it changed uh, the federal law number 127, uh, which regulates the insolvency procedures in Russia. Uh, one article uh, 9.1 was added and it authorizes the government uh, in the periods of nature or man or man-made reasons or in the periods uh, of significant significant uh, changing of uh, rubles rate uh, to initiate a moratorium on filing insolvency suits to the courts uh, russian government uh, set uh, the moratorium on the 3rd of april from the 6th of april and for six months now it is forbidden for creditors uh, to file uh, insolvency suits against, against uh, debtors uh, from the uh, suffered branch of economies and uh, for uh, system forming entities and strategic entities. Uh, so you may easily search your debtor if you are hesitating if you may file a suit or no. I mean, in this, uh, I mean, insolvency suit. Uh, on the tax service uh, site, so you just uh, just need to know uh, the tax uh, the individual taxpayer number of your debtor, and uh, you may uh, understand uh, may you uh, file against him or not. Uh, in the moratorium period, it is also forbidden to foreclose. Uh, uh, on the mortgage property 
uh, all the enforcement procedures uh, for debt spill before moratorium are posed. So uh, owners of business, CEOs uh, and individuals are not obliged uh, to file uh, insolvency cases against, uh, themselves. And uh, no payments uh, are allowed uh, for the shareholders. Uh, uh, there are some special rules for uh, set-offs uh, um, and uh, no penalties. Uh, all penalties uh, stop uh, against, uh, uh, stop except uh, current uh, payments. On the other hand, uh, there are some uh, uh, rules about the insolvency procedures which could, which could be initiated in three months after the moratorium. Uh, for example, all uh, the selling asset deals uh, or other deals that are more than a uh, cost of 1% of the all assets of the company. Uh, and all, uh, these, uh, all these deals uh, will be invalid uh, if they will be concluded uh, in the moratorium period. Uh, but one more time I should uh, mention that uh, uh, this is moratorium only for filing uh, suits uh, for creditors. So debtors themselves may go to the court and uh, apply uh, for the insolvency in this period. But now courts are closed. Uh, for everyday hearings uh, on the urgent uh, cases can be heard, but uh, it is allowed to uh, file a suit electronically or by post. And uh, the courts uh, are closed till uh, the, f the 5th of May, uh, and then we will see what will happen. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much, Mr. Gerasimov. We will speak with the Padva Epstein, law firm CEO. And uh, I just would like to say thank you to looking until the end. Uh, Belgian Luxembourg Chamber of Commerce in Russia continue its work. And we ask you please to send your questions to our website ccblr.com.